Welcome back to my Let's Play. Klonoa Heroes and Tessino Star Metal. I actually got another win ring for Klonoa. That's weird. This one. Huh. Anyways, I mean, there's no... There isn't really a point in the game where you stop getting win rings. It's never like a... an obsolete type of weapon. It's just... I think of them as obsolete because I don't like using it. I have something better now. Anyways... Egg diet! Boom! Oh. Oh, there we go. So, hopefully we're going to finish up this vision this episode, but I make no promises. We all, it looks like, though, gets a nice little level up for guns. I haven't quite decided what I'll spend that on just yet, though. Fence would not be a bad idea. Actually, that's all to the left, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it isn't it. So I guess I'd have to. And then next time we get a level up, we can start thinking about... I see you. <laughs> Little pixel pink. Whoa. And then we can start thinking about actually having stats and careers. I want to get rid of this thing before these things in totality before I start killing the giant libs. Very strategic place for these things. So I don't actually get anything for killing stuff. I started to watch these things. Oh my god. At least, guns isn't completely missing on the experience for killing these things. It's usually what happens. No hogs at all. Come on, you almost killed that one. There we go, I thought I was missing one there. Alright, so I can have this one now too. Let's slow about this sort of thing. Well, he says it's a special type, it's not reliable. Beautiful. So, I'm not sure I'll spin that on with guns. I know what I'm gonna do with my next. I'll up with Kanoa at least. I want to spin on his I think agility actually. Yeah, I don't have a better sword just yet, so I can't spin it on anything related to that. So it has to be defense or attack, I think. Um No, I could invest in either one. But I'll do defense. I know uh, agility because I like that more. I mean, I'm used to having a lot of defense, but no, I'm used to its consequences. Not pleasant consequences, of course, but still. The long haul, oh my god. So this is up here where we came in, I'm guessing? Yeah. And then we have a door down here. Somewhere, probably. Yeah, cool, you're not doing a lot of damage, are you? Phew. Yeah, I need to increase your crits, your uh, special stats to actually start doing crits and make up that bad damage. Because you actually have a tendency to have pretty high agility, so your crits actually matter. Whether your crits actually happen to increase your agility still. Yeah! That's how you respond to aggression. Okay. Guess we'll just have to deal with that silver door later. Hopefully not dying to process. Because... Like I've said a few times before, I'm not too confident in my ability to not get myself killed if I need to use a healing item really quickly to save myself. Giant news! I really look forward to the day when I can actually kill those things without them bouncing everywhere. Ah, god. I need guns to be the guy who isn't near death, okay? There you go. Go away, please. Ah. 
<laughs> that was really dumb. I basically just set up guns to get smacked in the face. Mm. Nobody really does a good job of killing those things. No. The flying moves just have a lot more defense and or HP than I feared they would. This takes an effort. Away. Oh, oh no! Microphone, what are you doing? Oh god, guns! Getting held in place while a giant moose smacks into him. See, that's those are the bad things that happen with flying moves. Usually it's pretty easy to avoid having that happen, but man, if it happens, you can get into some bad situations. Especially with how much damage the flying moves themselves do. Alright, here we go. Hopefully we got a healing item or two. Yeah, two. <laughs> so what's that outfit for going along? That oh. Pfft. No. No thank you. What's our maximum agility with that anyways? 36. No, thank you. Okay, so guns. Yeah, all can increase his defense. I have a better outfit. Oh, no, uh, yeah. Is that eventually? For now, some better defense is cool. Something I can only dream of for the time being. No, nope, key things. It's only 11 dolls. Egg. Yes. Okay. I think I should get three like this. Maybe not. Someone off the corner of the screen just a moment ago, at least. I can think of move. If I can get him. Alright, well, there you go. Go away. I don't love you. Go away. He's trying to go home. Stop him. Had <laughs> no damage all the other moves. I mean, to be fair, I basically do more damage than with my normal attack on two, but still. Buh. Oh god, Clinola caught on the rock. Alright, let's go! Which I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Those spikes there are just there to taunt the impatient, basically. You don't actually need to go across those spikes to do anything. Like, these moves I'm seeing right now are the same moves that I was fighting just a moment ago. It loops around, around the spikes. I don't know if the spikes not having to. It should be fine if I'm happy for the fact that Kamis rocks, anyways, because I would have taken damage otherwise. But I had to pay the price, I suppose, for a little dumb mess up. Where'd that little thing go? I thought I saw the little pink thing I want to go. The easier stuff. There it is. It's hiding behind the walls. They can be stealthy, surprisingly. They also only drop money instead of experience, which is kind of annoying. Well, it's annoying right now, because I want experience, but... If you're kind of different to experience at some point, for one reason or another, it can be nice. Yeah, I saw you spawning. Stop that. Anything else over here? Hello. I'm kind of curious what it'd be like to tackle all those things as Plinola, but I'd rather not deal with that. There you go. Yeah, see, it tried to attack me and miss me right then, because it has really low agility, luckily for me. My god, guys. Play flying moves because of universe need. I don't know that's how you do that. Come on. Dude, come on, stop getting caught on that. Okay. There we go. 
Come on. Yeah. Not gonna make something of this. Okay. Well, that different enemies at least. Hello. You're guarding something that may or may not try to kill me. Was it a cop out? No. Okay, cool. I probably shouldn't kill you right there. Well, I can kill you right here. See, I shouldn't kill it there because <laughs> it's a one-way route and I won't be able to get to the other side. But it just gave me all the more reason to kill it. Come on. Perfect. Jumping things. I haven't seen those in a while, it feels like. Very easy and pleasant to deal with. Pleasant! Oh yeah, I just have crap for health now, too. As opposed to these things that I missed two out of my three hits on. Even Clint also has pretty bad agility compared to those things. Although his agility hasn't been increased ever since we started. The ruins, so... I really started recording tonight, which was probably into, I think, the first vision of the ruins. Klonoa, the one where Klonoa was going solo. There we go. Yeah. That's why you take those one-way routes sometimes. So what's even like done with this place yet? It's crazy. It is what it is. Oh, no, here we are. Oh yeah, I forgot there was artwork for that little guy. <laughs> timing for finishing this place, too. We're at the end of the episode. Alright. Hey, doll. Uh, so I wish we could just sell those things already. I'll do that on the episode by selling those things, because I wouldn't want to get rid of them. So I think that free up some space. I have no use for that. Attack plus three. Alright. So, notice we started the last episode here, or rather we, the last episode we started here, and then it came out here. It just transitioned quickly to Vision 3. So, I'm gonna f prep for the next episode before I finish things off for the time being. I think I'm buying more items because I just I haven't been using it for anything, so it seems fine by me. Um, does anybody need stuff to... Set, or I need stuff to grow into. I think Guns and Clown both have outfits for the time being. Been getting a weapon for... I don't know if Guns has a better weapon. I'll have to look. I think something for Lilith might be good too. Get a small one. An inferior one. An inferior one. Inferior. Gain inferior. Um, I'll leave that be for, for now, actually. I can only most of these be for the time being. I like holding on to the special stuff, like reducing um, environment damage and things like that. Because some of those can actually be incredibly useful in certain situations. It's this. Oh, those things. Not gonna sell those. Alright. So in that case, yeah, I wanted to check up on Gunts. See if he had a better weapon to use. Um, not strictly. Not in terms of attack, at least. I believe both of them had better outfits to get into. Uh, Kuno is in his right now, actually. Gunts. Also does, yes. So we have a better weapon for guns, so I can find some better machine guns for him. No, that is the better machine gun. Alright, well never mind. So let's just get better machine guns for guns at some point. Either find them enough vision or do something else like that. Buy more. 
Anyhow, well, you know what? I just kind of realized that's a like normal-looking whale up top right there, except for the fact it's orange. Kind of weird to see that looks so normal for Earth in a Klonoa game. Anyhow, so as I was saying, that will be it for this episode. Let's play Klonoa Heroes and Test No Star Metal. Oh no! Hello. But. There we go. We are out of time. And now we're all prepared for the next episode as well. For the next version. And we'll get a heal up. Well, not heal up, but a. Well, I guess that too. But a level up for Klonoa soon enough. And we'll see his very much improved. Very, very much improved, I'm sure. Ah. Uh, Agility stack, which will make things fun. Lots of crits everywhere, I'm sure. <laughs> Bye, guys.